<laughs> it's lovely to talk to you, Moomin lady. Okay, thank you. I love you. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Why did you turn into Jeremy Paxman then? Why? What do you mean? I was aggressive. You're grilling a minister. <laughs> <laughs> Far too aggressive. Well, she Poor didn't woman. have no facts to back up her Moomin land. You were ratting around on the floor for an email. You I was trying to find some her. facts about Moomin. You just come Moomins. back to the microphone every two seconds and go, What about Snufkin? <laughs> <laughs> Snufkin had to, someone needs to tell me what he was doing. Because he had a little straw hat on, he was up to something. Yeah. I don't reckon he'll get his own page on MySpace working with Westwood. I don't reckon he might do. He'll have Westwood to won't let him on. He'll have to change his name. Hello, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, who are he'll you? To... Frankie Fraser. <laughs> I don't know if you should be allowed on the radio. You that was should... quite good. I wish I had that voice all the time. Well, no, it wouldn't. He wouldn't be able to. He'll have to change his name. He'll have to change... cover, son. He'll have to go to, to cover. Um, no, don't speak like that all the time. Well, I do like people that speak like that sometimes. It's quite nice. Look at you kissing up to everyone in the community. Hey, everyone don't in the community. Don't speak like that ever. But I love that voice. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, if you do have a voice like that, don't feel like you've been left out, because I'd like to cuddle you up close. Going on in that ice cream van. What do you want to happen in it, Matthew? Well, I just want it to be orderly. Orderly? Yes. <laughs> All right, granddad. He's not going to be orderly. It's You'll be climb crackers. on the roof. I will. I always climb on the roof of Well, anything. I know what will happen. This is what my prediction will happen. Go on, then. You'll go, I want to climb on the roof. I want to climb on the roof. <laughs> and then Radio 2 people say, you're not insured to go on the roof. Yeah. And you can't go up there. And then you'll yeah. go, oh, geez, I'm so small, my dad. Jim Morrison would have done it. <laughs> then you'll climb up there. Yeah. And then it'll just be pointless. And when you're up there, you'll do your classic thing of not knowing what to do and flashing. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Get ready for Flash! Ah! You've seen mediocre genitals? <laughs> 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 donkeys and all sorts of things and it's been going on for thousands millions of years what, beast are you talking about bestiality yeah, sexual, right? relations, sexual relations between so. humans and and uh, in, in for humans primates and, and other animals and of course the church has taken a very stern line against this <laughs> <laughs> yeah those squares I, i'm not allowed back in there with days <laughs> and i think it is officially an offense so it's probably an offense to even talk Roger, about it why on are you radio, standing actually. up for bestiality <laughs> 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 this is radio 2 as Amanda. We were on the chairlift. What? what? We were on the chairlift. Skiing. Oh, I see. What were you thinking? Well, I was just thought it was an lift. elderly person coming. <laughs> just thought, oh, on top of that, she can't even cope with stairs, and now she's having to gaze into someone's unwelcome genitalia. It'd be hard genitalia. to uh, make a quick getaway if someone flushed you. Me. Mm. How stairs. dare you? I've never been so shocked. Your Good day. To, to mm. safety. Mm. I'll be gone soon. <laughs> you sicken me. Mm. <laughs> I can still see it. <laughs> we were on a chairlift on our way down to the Needles on the Isle of Wight. The mayor turns up now. I think we should listen to another track, compose ourselves. Hold on a minute. The mayor has actually arrived. <laughs> Some people are not happy, but hello, mayor. Hello. hello, I'm the mayor. <laughs> Thank you for coming, mayor of Blackpool. Why are you so late? Because I'm drunk. <laughs> Why, Mayor of Blackpool, have you come onto this radio show drunk? Because I can have all the rides for free in Blackpool, and I use it, I get drunk, and I go on there. Sometimes I punch the cleaners. <laughs> you punch the cleaners? Have you ever used your power as a mayor to intimidate your staff at the town hall? Yes. Regularly? I've got open strip clubs everywhere. <laughs> He's opening strip clubs. People of Blackpool, show your chagrin and anger towards the mayor. Oh, shut up, you like I like you anyway. <laughs> what, what, is it true, Mayor, that you've been using the, the town, the uh, like council tax and that payment to the piece of people of Blackpool to just set up a lovely gold bathroom for yourself where you sit around with hermaphrodites and that just snogging? I use all the money to fund the poo-poo trains. <laughs> so you deliberately have yes. set up... So what, you put those trains out there yeah. that defecate onto the tracks? Yeah, I like it. And sometimes, is it what you say of rumours that sometimes it isn't even human waste, but you've shipped in animal waste deliberately, put it onto we tracks? We get it from zoos. It is animal poo put onto the tracks. I'm, I, I think this is the most shocking, this is very much It's an expose. Frost. This is an expose, this is investigative journalism that's happening right now. Okay, uh, Mayor of Blackpool, do you officially hand over your powers to be mayor to me, Russell Brand, now, so I can do something and put this city right. Yes, I think they might revolution. There might be a revolution. Right, okay, I'm now mayor of Blackpool.
Paul, hand over that necklace. There thing. it is. Have it. Oh, there you lovely. Go. Oh, it goes ever so nice. Bye then, Mayor of Blackpool. Ex Bye. Mayor of Blackpool. Up Bye. yours. Boo. Oh, well, there he went. Now. What a horrible man. What a ghastly character. Thank God he's left. Decent shirt. I look like mm. a cowboy. We've been dressed. Me and Bat. Me and Matt are dressing up as cowboys now because we're in America. <laughs> so we've got Russell's cowboy dressed clothes. Up more like an Avon lady. <laughs> oh, they're nice. They're like little cowboy boots. I love those. <laughs> <laughs> got skull on. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> oh, a skull because you have one of those inside your head. Here, you've got a skull inside your head all your life. Isn't it amazing? There's a no, in a way I am. Right, so Matt and me done this little sneaky trick, because I was going, oh, I've not oh, got I did it. the sneaky trick. You oh, used to think right. I... Oh, um, right, uh, photo ID. Right. Oh, OK, oh, well... Let me go for my handbag. Oh, well, let's have a look. I've got some Avon samples, if you want them. <laughs> Get them free. Have some of this bubble bath, you'll smell of lilac. It's delicious. You can wash your, wash your big stinking jab of the hut calves in this lilac bubble bath. And then so Matt goes, Russell, just give him that one. Like, it's Let's odd. Go Russell, just take this just down my hand and show it to him. Talking out the corner of his mouth, me. like a spy, like it was a Graham Greene novel. Just take the pass out my hand, Russell. Just take it. And I was going, what? You I can't pass? take that. This man wants ID. <laughs> <laughs> you silly sod. This is no time for swapsies. I've got to get us into this lap dancing yeah, joint. Yeah, try this moisturiser. <laughs> <laughs> just dab a little on the wrist. It'll last you all day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not too much. Just spray the mist in the air, then walk into it. Peace them out. <laughs> Peace out, the man. I, do you know what? I've been using the pe- Every, every t- right, this has happened about four times. <laughs> Hotel receptionists, <laughs> shop girls. <laughs> I'm famous in England. <laughs> oh, oh, I've got a website. <laughs> oh, have you got the internet here? Oh, brilliant. Oh, it's russellbrand.com. Have a look. There I am. That's me. I'm famous in England. Did I mention that? Um, will you, um, you'd like to go for tea with me? I'm ever so English and unthreatening. <laughs> That's what I've had to put up with. I'm a little bit like J.R. Hartley. Going on. Oh, it's J.R. Russellbrand.com. Come, look at it! In the Google, do you know what you get? Russell Brand! That's what you get! And then he says to him, I'll be famous here soon as well. I'll be, I'll take over your country. See you later. Click, clack, off in the Avon lady boots. <laughs> <laughs> These boots, baby, were not made for Avon. I'm a pretty wild, a rock and roll they rebel. Are. I'm a pirate of the modern age. I mean, you do Avon parties where you take off your boots, <laughs> open them up, and there's all stuff in there, all products. <laughs> now, look, in my left boot, they've got moisturisers and tinted stuff. It's a lip salve. Look into the heel. We've got facial wipes in there. You could just look at you girls. You could be fit, fiddles in no time at all. It's party plan. You can pay over a number of months. Ding dong, Avon lady. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. What should we listen to, Matthew? It's, just like, it's like I'm driving a tit around. <laughs> That's why I'm a tit delivery man. <laughs> Hello, what's the, what town are we in today? Well, here's your tit. <laughs> Hello, town. I'm famous in England. <laughs> well, better than that, than a wheezing hypochondriac covering up his... Hey, guys, that was really nice, but let me you know, tell you the other side yeah. of the story. But he didn't. He came over and goes, This is my corner. Those are my tramps. I've been, <laughs> I've been running these tramps since 1966. And look I'm at I'm damn them. proud of those tramps. There's not a tramp there that I wouldn't make love to if I was lonely and bored enough. And you giving those tramps money gives them a little bit of independence. And that means I'm going to find it harder to force them to fillet me on the corners that I own. He was a disgusting example of a human being that man, weren't he, Matthew? Yes, he was. That's why we... And we drove off <laughs> with our handbrake on. Yeah, we drove smoked off... Smoked in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Me with my cowboy boots rooting tune on the... You're in the Rolling Stones. You're having a time of your life. You've got lovely hair. Your whole life's ahead of you. Don't you're a good kid. I'll stick up for you in the staff room. All the other teachers, Mick, they say you're a silly little bugger. He went to my school, so he had he the went... same staff room as me. Of course he had the same staff room as you. I'll stuck up for you in there. You was good you kids. You didn't. You were snooping around it, cleaning it up for the teachers. <laughs> <laughs> They did clean and they did with the stuff. <laughs> yeah, for a sixpence, I'll buff your shoes, said Master. That's how you end up alcoholic, because you're always cleaning the staff room, having a nip of whiskey. <laughs> oh, well, just another nip. Keep me going. Nip, 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 You'll get me through the hoovering. <laughs> hey, good marking, guys. <laughs> I'll keep it up. Hey, I love that pie chart stuff you told us earlier. It was brilliant. I'll just have another swig. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Let's listen to... Mm. And then all around the office, there was pictures of him with Sean Connery and people, but on film sets. Like, right. he must be a doctor who gets employed on film sets. Yeah. And he goes to me, what's wrong with you, then? Like that, he's really aggressive. <laughs> and I went, oh, I've got a little bit of asthma, I've got a tight chest. And yeah. he sat me down and he put his, you know, 
listening device. Oh, yeah. What's it called? Stethoscope. Stethoscope. All around me and went, mm. and I breathed in and I made sure it was wheezy. You made it wheezy. There's nothing worse than you going there. You're a hypochondriac. And, and then your breathing con- goes all. Like, do, so a this wheeze, do a wheeze. Do a wheeze. You did that. Like Not as bad as that. Harold! <laughs> Don't leave me, oh, Harold! Oh. No, I put in, you know, I, you can't go there and then it's gone. Mm. The condition. No, that would expose the true nature of your <laughs> illness. A mental one. <laughs> God, what you, I like that. He said something to you about allergies. He, or yeah, though, he goes, oh, oh yeah, you, can't, you don't. He goes, no, these people who have a cat or a dog, it's disgusting. And flowers, don't go near flowers, like that. <laughs> and then he said, um, he goes, why have a cat if you can't if you can't get, can't get sex anyway? Just get, you know, get a beautiful woman. Or he goes, get a hot chick, like that. And I went... I don't think people who own cats have sex with them. And then he thought I'd said, I think people who have cats have sex with them. And he went, <laughs> yeah, they probably do. Yeah, they probably do have sex with them, don't they? <laughs> I like you, you're funny. Hey, me and you, we're, we're two hearts with just one mind, man. We put hot chicks together. <laughs> yeah, he had some strange views, that doctor. He was crazy, and then he gave me, obviously, you know, every drug under Undeserved. the sun. And... Big bird. Don't say we. What? <laughs> well, we've said worse things on the show, mate. <laughs> you know, like, so we don't want to drive away Corbett. You know, I like him, and someone told me that he likes me, and he must like don't me. Don't turn this he... round, because I'm saying he's good, so we should have him on the show. And now you're going, hey, let's not upset Corbett. Don't Just listen. You're the person who would upset him. You go, uh, Mr. Corbett, <laughs> who's got the biggest winner? Are you and Ronnie Parker? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I would not. I would conduct probably a very moving interview that would be shown after Corbett's death. Oh, mention his death. Well done. <laughs> Undermine him. Look. I've been invited to do the Royal Variety performance. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what? Should I do it? Coat check. No, not coat check. Performing for Her Majesty, Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II. Well, she, she won't like you. She will, mate. Don't you think so? I think she'll go, Ooh, Lily Savage looks terrible. <laughs> 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 Should I think Her Majesty... Is she ill again? <laughs> I think Her Majesty's going to eat up my gear. She's going uh, <laughs> to... does that mean? Out of a saucer. That is quite this amazing. Disgraceful. He was just thinking, for, I'm not going to bother with these frozen mice. There's this idiot girl that delivers <laughs> them. I like the look of this frozen mice delivery well, service. I don't understand. Right? Mm. Because the snake must have... To lay down next to her and think, oh, we're just a little bit longer. Just, <laughs> get, her, get her in my little belly. I don't think snakes short. lay down to see if they're the right length. Yeah, but the vet said that they do. So Who's going to trust a vet? No one, because a vet, really, aren't they only doing that job so they can touch unconscious animals <laughs> on the nuts and balls? Yes, Why do they you are. say nuts and balls when nuts and balls are the same thing? Because sometimes, Matt, I do something a bit weird and then the world realises I'm different and I get a special penny. A big penny! <laughs> what are you talking about? And why have you got a dreadlock with a skull? It looks like something out of Red Dwarf. <laughs> it's stupid, isn't it? I made a mistake. Mama made mistakes with me! <laughs> Unfortunately, he's going to have to be educated with people with vaginas. It's the only way he can relax. No, listen, what happened? He like? keeps touching the winkies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know when people that play different glasses with different amount of water in? I reckon you ran around touching people's winkies like that. You actually did do that at school, because I know you did do that, because you told me you got in trouble for going <laughs> on people's genitals. Yeah, I did. Didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did do it. That's probably why I accused you of it, thinking about it now. I think, yeah, I think what motivated Worst me to... Worst supply teacher ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we shouldn't talk about that. The case is still ongoing. <laughs> Man. Well, you are my son. Never underestimate the power of the voice. You all right, mate? Do you want to calm down? Don't talk like that. This... Never... <laughs> <laughs> Never... Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, that's Yoda. Oh, do it again. <laughs> Stop trying to make me do things. <laughs> Never <laughs> underestimate. Hey, I've got some force here. Don't bloody underestimate, because I use it against your neck. Uh, what I mean is, he's always angry. Isn't he? About something. Although... You have disobeyed me <laughs> for the last, last time. <laughs> I won't put up with it. Maybe that's what his voice is like, but his helmet. Things are the things <laughs> Matt has noticed this week. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah, well, we're in synchronicity, aren't we? Now, come on. Yeah, what's you don't know where thing? you're going next. So? Where? Where? People go, there's a car outside. Oh, where am I going? No. <laughs> I'm not going to yoga. Oh, do I... No, no, you're going to the gym. Oh, I don't need my gym bag. Yes, your gym bag's here. <laughs> you like someone with Alzheimer's. <laughs> he 
Hey, you, my it's dog. the war finished. <laughs> Have I had my dinner? He's just had your dinner. It's all right. Have I had my ice cream, too, please? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Why don't someone... Why mate, don't... I think the nurses nick my money. <laughs> <laughs> nick you my money, mate. <laughs> nick you my money. Where's my ration book? <laughs> oh, it's all gone now. It's all gone now. You don't need that anymore. Your bananas, you'll be bloody lucky, <laughs> Sean, won't John Rogers is kids. I'm good as gold. I don't say anything weird. I just go, oh, come on, Spider Man, stuff like that, you know. Don't say that to the Queen. <laughs> oh, come on. All right, Madge. <laughs> you hey, Madge. Hey, what, you Madge? You, you read the boogie, book, book yeah? <laughs> You're the only one who hasn't. <laughs> I tell you what, you come across as right sour <laughs> puss in it, you. <laughs> 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 no, you don't love I'm missing a bit. That's funny, because we had Mrs. Elkham, who was lovely, and when she held your hand, mm. it was like a cushion, a soft sort of, you know. Yeah, that's lovely nice. Soft hand. Lovely soft cushion. And then I don't you had to hold her hand a lot, did you? She's one of the cowards of the school. <laughs> <laughs> that she was going out with her. <laughs> wow, you were really mature. <laughs> you were punching above your weight. She was 60, I was nine. <laughs> All right, it'll come. The sex was mind blowing <laughs> for her. <laughs> that's a joke because Matt, obviously, as a nine year old, didn't have my jury stuck to him, what he does. <laughs> also, and the harsh mm. one was called Mrs. I don't know her real name, Mrs. Make Less Noise. Mrs. Make Less Noise. She make Less Noise. <laughs> like I like the sound of it. I think you mentioned it once before. I like Mrs. Make Less Noise. Yeah. What a jumper, Shavar. It's been a young lad, your assistant, James. James, little James, little He's James. Been, go and get me a cardigan, a jumper. It's got to be soft, soft like lamb's wool. <laughs> Don't bring back something that's itchy. <laughs> then James <laughs> diligently came back with a jumper from a nice, reputable, fashionable store. Itchy! It's itchy. See, look, when I rub it on your eyeball, James, it itches, doesn't it? Doesn't it hurt? Go out again. He sent him out again because this cardigan, or what was it, a jumper? Just a V-neck jumper. Oh, just, a v-neck, just a V-neck jumper. That's yeah. all it is, man. I'm keeping it real, yeah? I'm just wearing a V-neck. It's like... too itchy. I'm it's like not the green itchy. and common. I'm just wearing a V-neck. I just, you know, just got to get those missiles right out of it. Don't try and do voices and get out of this. <laughs> oh, we'll do a voice and get out of I'm a man trying to get a jumper. What's no, a man that? trying to get a jumper is this. Hello, I need a jumper. <laughs> Great. How much? Brilliant. Bye. <laughs> that, a man get a jumper. He's not. No, it's too itchy. It's itching me. Get it off. I don't like being itched. All itching up. Yeah, what about but you? Think about James going you in You wet yourself in front of a magician. Listen, get us off the jumper. He called up from self He goes, I've got one here. He says, it's cashmere. I goes, mm, even cashmere can be a bit itchy. Do you think you might just have a skin disease? <laughs> This uh, air in this room's very itchy. <laughs> very itchy indeed. <laughs> Flakes of skin are coming off. I can't live like this. James? <laughs> James, could you give me some less itchy air in here, please? All right, what I'd like is I'd like to live in... Phone in Slash. What? Oh, I don't know. I'm Slash's mum. This is where... Oh, right, yeah, you're Bowie and I'm Slash. Yeah. Right, OK. Who wants to hear what his mum said? <laughs> Oh, David, I'm worried about my son. I'll give him a call then. Right, that's Hilarious. all right. Hilarious. So that's the prologue. That's the bit that's before it, OK? That's the in a galaxy far, far away. Right, we now know what happened. Hello, before. Slash. You sound awful. You're gabbling. <laughs> sorry. Hey, sorry about that, man. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I didn't hear the phone. Slash. I'm Slash. <laughs> yeah, I'm Slash. I'm Slash. I'm from Chicago. Yeah, it's the 20s. <laughs> hey, baby. I'm a big papa. <laughs> Hello, boy. <laughs> I didn't hear the phone ring, boy. What's going These on? These drugs you're on must be awful, Slash. They are. I'm sitting all kind of picture guys all around my feet. <laughs> Why didn't the phone ring when you rang me? I'm a, Go I'm to a... rehab, you <laughs> moron. And that is exactly how it happened. That's what happened. I believe in those days Slash was devoted to talking like on the... Yeah, what about my birthday? Well, that time, have we? We've been under such a lot of pressure. Oh, this is actually quite nice. It's I'm nice not sure that. I like the shape much. Oh, God. Well, like, try that on. Let's have a look. I don't like the way That's it tapers. That's lovely. You're going to look such a big boy in that. <laughs> <laughs> it tapers a bit of the waist, doesn't it? So do you. So does everyone. <laughs> yeah, but look how it tapers. That's a good shape. Do you like it? Yes. Right, I'll pop it on now, because I'm going to football now, back in old history land where we all live. I'm off there with So the what deal. do we do with this one, then? Oh, yeah. You can give it to Matt as a Do you want it, really? Um... I'll try it on. Go on, then try it on. Let's try now. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's a bit itchy. Hold no, on. actually, it's not itchy. Right, I'm trying my... 
lives. We've well, the thing is, they, yeah, but funny people jokes. don't expose themselves as an idiot until you're in a situation of work, generally. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you took them to a dinner party, everyone would go, Who oh, is so charming? Which one of you is the idiot? <laughs> That's a bit of a risk on your part. This person with a ridiculous <laughs> hair is a real find. <laughs> Russell's turned up with a man in a wheelbarrow. He's had a lobotomy. <laughs> I don't know where the man in the wheelbarrow found Russell. <laughs> Or how he got Russell to agree to keep his hands clamped firmly to the barrow. But nonetheless, we all we gave him first prize rosette for the chiefest idiot among them. Jolly good work.